All right, we're back again. I'm excited to be back. We uh, explored the orbital cannon and went down underneath the water of uh, Giant's Deep. And it talked about the Ash, oh, here it is. The Ash Twin, which is there next to the hourglass twins. So there's obviously more to explore on Giant Steep, but I don't think we should go crazy. Because that's what happened here. I mean, this stuff was pretty useful and it's quite interesting, so we'll come back to it. We haven't really explored much of this stuff, actually. Quantum stuff. Explored a decent amount of the vessel arc, but not too much. So we've explored the ocean depths. Um, now we need to. Oh, and here is the data that we got. Oh, okay, so that's probably like the last probe found the location of the Eye of the Universe. Um, Alright, so now what? We need to go to the Ash Twin, but why? I know I built the orbital probe cannon at a construction yard on Giant Steep. Oh. Perhaps we should look for the construction yard then. Okay. We've got an island here. Um. Okay. An island here. I want to find the construction yard. Here is the big one. Whoa. Oh, and this is the tower. Perhaps that could bring us... to the construction yard. Now, I've definitely been up here, and I remember a... M Let's see one. I remember... like a quantum tower, where you have to keep looking away and things keep teleporting. I think it actually might be this one. Uh, I don't know where it led, though. I don't know the point of it. Hopefully, it will lead us to the construction site. That'd be nice. Be welcomed in this place. This tower shares with all who ask the knowledge needed to make his or her first quantum journey. Okay, so this is some. This is definitely the quantum tower there. It's 
suppose we'll take the knowledge transfer here. Into this place without friends, however, these are lessons to learn for yourself. This. Seek the wandering arc. So that moves? Yeah. So I have. To, I remember. Yeah. It will stay there if I can see it. So if I turn away, it's still there. Observing a quantum object. Observing an image of a quantum object. These are the same. Yeah. Identified signal nearby. Island shard, frequency discovered, quantum fluctuations. Uh. Oh no, everything's moving. The arc and the crystal do not naturally meet. Okay, so I have to... Keep that in view, and then... There we go. Ah. Uh. Oh my goodness. This is the last one, but we made it harder. Yeah.
Yes, we do it. Okay, cool. <laughs> that was the last one. What are these? Oh, they're the beings. The, um, never mind. We offer our congratulations. You've learned to rule the rule of quantum Im imaging. Take this knowledge with you on the remainder of your quantum pilgrimage. Remember, the other quantum shards have other lessons to teach. Our curiosity goes with you on your journey. You walk in the footsteps of those who came before you, and your path guides those who will follow later. All right. <laughs> Some places I can make quite the distance. I guess the gravity is different. <laughs> Alright, so that's kind of a tutorial on the quantum stuff. Um, I suppose I already knew that from last time, but it's good to, to do it. <laughs> Cause there it is. The quantum trials. So that's how we use that. So the construction yard. The Nomai built the orbital probe cannon at the construction yard on Giant's Deep. I do not know where that is, but it should be pretty big, right? Can I just go through this? I should have finger two damage. This guy, maybe this one's here. And he will tell us where the construction yard is. <laughs> what is up? Gabber. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it in made it here in one piece. First so lot. So they launch as a doozy, isn't it? So hey, don't freak out or anything, but lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? Or is it just me? Yeah, it's me too. We're in a time loop. So he's getting his memory back as well. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. What do you think it was? I figured it'd be some kind of fidgety time business, but I wasn't really thinking about what's happening to this shape of time, you know? But a loop makes sense here. Let's go with loop for now. It looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing Hornfells and asking if they'd died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. 
Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, they never remember the next one. They don't realize anything different. And here's another weird one for you. Every time I die, all of my memories from that loop replay back to me. I'm pretty sure that's related to this big stone Nomai statue I found on one of the other islands. I was looking at it, and the statue opened its eyes and started glowing. It replayed my memories like I'd seen them through my own eyes, just like what happens each time I die. That happened, with, that happened to me with the statue at the museum. Me too, huh? Then the Nomai statues must have something to do with why we're the only ones aware of the time loop. So, no glowing statues, no time loop awareness. I think that's going to be my leading theory. But if you find out anything new about the other statues, or the time loop, let me know, okay? I'll be here. Anyway, that's what's new with me, but hey, this is your first in the voyage, and uh, let's talk about you, you know? Um, I found out what happened to the other two. Well, that's the cannon breaking part at the start of this time loop. figure out why. Too much power. It's kind of scary how much that sounds like something Slate or Felsbar would do. I'm pretty surprised the Nomai built something that actually broke. Come to think of it though, broke might be the wrong word, because it looks like the orbital probe can is still firing successfully at the beginning of each time. What should I explore? This would be my life. At the start of every time loop, you keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there, in orbit, around the planet. What else? What else? Have you been to Statue Island? That's what I've been calling it. Seeing as it's the, an island where I found the glowing Nemo statue. Guess it? I was on the beach on Statue Island when the whole glowing business happened. By the way, it's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the gap realization scale. If you feel like checking out Statue Island, it's the only one with two islands connected by a natural lock park. Well, mostly connected anyway. We'll see. Is that nice plant somewhere? I mean, I'm not cycling, you know, just to I'm gonna go to the top just to see if there's anything up there. So I need to find uh, an island with a rock arch kind of connecting it. There's also another weird island, I um, already know what's up with that one. Perhaps it's the way to the construction site, that's one main objective. The planet's gravity is quite high. Hey, 
Okay, there's the other statue. So I found three statues, and there were three statues. Eyes opened. Um, in that weird vision thing. Statue workshop. Okay. There it is. That's, that's... Yeah, that's the construction thing. Oh, heck. Well, at least I know where to look. On the surface. Some kind of teleporter. They're going to test this memory statue tonight. Flock says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But what if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way? Does anyone want to? Flock specifically told us not to do that. I really want to see the test, too. I mean, that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't. Maybe Flux will let us see the test later. Yeah, I think the sun is about to explode. Has it already been 30 minutes? Oh, I, I remember how to get into here. You have to go under the water. <laughs> Underneath the island. 